Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. In this episode, we're going to be doing another one of our pack t tests again with the H&K 9mm VP9 pistol and this time with the Corbon DPX bullet. This is a plus P 9mm round 115 grain uh, bullet that's supposed to be traveling at 1,250 feet per second. I think we'll be able to achieve that. Uh, this is a DPX, is considered a deep penetrating and expanding bullet. Once again, our normal pack t test, that's precision, accuracy, consistency, and terminal performance. 15 yards, bullseye target gives us precision and accuracy. Precision is the um, extreme spread of a five-shot group. Accuracy is the bullseye score on that target. Consistency comes from our lab radar chronograph. We're going to be really looking at the standard deviation of those muzzle velocities. In other words, how consistent is this round? And then last, the T component, terminal performance. We're going to put one round into clear ballistic, ballistic gelatin from um, seven yards. And uh, that is 20% ballistic gelatin is considered a NATO block. So that I think sets it up pretty darn well. Let's go ahead and get shooting. Five rounds, 15 yards. Well, they are shooting as expected. The box tells me 1,250 feet per second. We are achieving a little bit more than that. There's our five. Shot really nicely. You know, one thing I did notice about this HK VP9 and my HK 45 Tactical I think it's because of the barrel, the polygonal barrel that's used. I tend to get a little bit more velocity. And uh, I'll also say this about this VP9. This is the most accurate handgun uh, I've ever shot. And it's not just this particular one. I've heard lots of great things about the VP9. Uh, but this thing is uh, really, really does nice. So let's take a look at what we got here. 10.2 feet per second standard deviation. Got all five rounds. Let's go ahead and put the one more into the clear ballistic, ballistic gelatin. All right, there's the round we're interested in. It's kind of smack dab in the center. Ended up right there. It did expand nicely, which is really good to see. Um, we're seeing that the bullets that we're testing today, and some of them that I tested previously, are um, expanding nicely, even though they're going through that clothing first. Let's get a good or a decent measurement on the penetration. This is a 16 inch gel block. 20% NATO, and we have, oh, about 11 and a half inches of penetration. We're going to go ahead and extract that bullet, weigh it. Remember, it started off at 115 grains. We're going to weigh it to see how much weight it retained, measure the expansion, and, of course, get a really good measurement on the depth of penetration. Hey! Now that's a good bullet. I don't even know what, what I have to complain about. This is the Corbon DPX. That's deep, penetrating, and expanding bullet. Solid copper. And uh, boy, it actually performed very, very well. We had a tiny little group shot at 15 yards off the bench. Tiny little group. Um, 0.467, less than half an inch. There's five shots right there. Uh, didn't score well in the accuracy. 
that I'm not worried about because if I had decided or if I decide to go with this bullet for my personal defense uh, concealed carry, then all I have to do is change the zero on that particular pistol and I can slide those rounds right there into the bullseye. And in fact, that little group would probably pretty much all fit in the X-ring. But as it is, it scored 35 points out of a possible 50. Zero in the X-ring. I'm not going to be too concerned about that. I'm much more excited about that group. So very high precision with this particular 9mm factory ammo. Good velocities also. The box says 1,250 feet per second. But we beat that, 1,277 feet per second. Now, I have heard and I've seen that these HK pistols, because of the polygonal rifling in those pistol barrels, that we sometimes have higher velocities than average. That may be the case. We saw that with the previous um, pack test, pack T test that we did using the 70 grain hero quite a bit higher velocities. If you didn't catch that video, really cool results on that one also. Uh, I will make sure to post the link to that video in the description below. Let's talk about the terminal ballistic results. The results from our ballistic gelatin. That's a 20% NATO block, 16 inches in size, and this is the extracted bullet right here. It has expanded tremendously, 230% expansion, and that is 0.444 of an inch across these pedals at its more or less its widest that I could measure, and it penetrated, it did its job, it penetrated uh, almost 12 inches into that ballistic gelatin, 11 and 3 quarter inches did not lose any weight whatsoever. This is still a 115 grain bullet. And this is amazing. This bullet now ties for the best score we've ever shot with a 9mm pistol. 437.5 points. Now, the interesting thing is that the other round that it's tied with, which is the Federal HST. That was shot into um, bare ballistic gelatin to achieve that score. I don't know if it would score so well going through a barrier like it did today, a soft barrier. Now, in the past, we've seen a lot of bullets clog going through almost anything. Almost anything was causing those bullets to clog. This one did not clog. We've seen this season a couple bullets have made it through without clogging and that's cool. But if you're interested, I'm thinking about doing another best of the best video where I will take some of our top scoring 9mm bullets, put them through uh, a soft barrier, maybe even a little bit more difficult soft barrier than what we're using right now, including this one. Uh, we'll see which one comes out on top. That would include this Corbon bullet, Federal HST, maybe a couple of others. Let me know what you think about that idea. Nonetheless, this is a good bullet. I give it a thumbs up. This is an excellent bullet. Good choice for personal defense, home defense type of scenarios. Not much more I can say about that. Really like these results today. Thanks for watching.